Hello everybody, my name is Christinator, welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. We just got out of the study and we collected a yellow rod from there. I believe there are two more other rods that we need to collect from either the guest room, which is what we're going into now to find another one, and another one somewhere else, hopefully, that will get all the rods we need to be able to move on down the elevator, which needs power. Second of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Right, so we just spoke about his journal being missing. Maybe is that something that we need to find? I might have some answers to where the other things that we need to look for are. So we're obviously in his room looking for some things. And from what I see, I don't see anything yet. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colourful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Mm, drawing room pieces, I see. Guess we have to stay in his room for a while to look for some things. Don't tell me that closet wardrobe would be a sign of warning there. I hope, I hope not. I really bloody hope not. But Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. It's Daniel's bed, from what I can tell. Um, so... Oil. That's what I've got. Yeah, I've got that, yeah. Well, speaking of which... The key. Please, let it be here. Got here, mementos. And the important key is in the right, so this is the guest room, so we've got to find a key. Oh! Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it, then. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. 
I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Very, very nice, very nice. Oh shit, oh my god. Okay. I am hiding. I hear you. Oh my god, where is he? Okay, he's gone now, I think. I believe, yep. Yeah. Oh my days. Is that everything I've got from here now? Um, just double checking everything, but got all the drawers, yep. Yeah. Get that out of there, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's painting. Yep, that's it. Yep. So we have the key for the machine Oh, that's the machine room key. That's downstairs near the elevator. So we should go down there. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the old man from the other day cast such a terrible shadow. Oh, oh, oh God. Did he explode? Has he exploded? Oh, dear. Look at that torso. It's just got to catch. You didn't catch. Not terrible, terrible. So let's go down to the machine room now, which I believe is down here again. Moving on. Shoot, this is the machine room key. Yep. Strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only witch offered some comfort. Oh. I don't know, a machine room made sounds like that. I know it would be empty, probably. You can smell this room, you can really smell it. You can smell the rust on the pipes, you can smell everything anyway. 5th of July, 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Sir William Smith, are you sure it isn't the Will Smith that slapped Chris Rock at Oscars? Oh, I see. Pressure. I'd assume this is some sort of combination. I'm just gonna guess right now. Maybe... Complete guess. No, that didn't work. Anyway, I guess we... What is that sound? Is that, is that turning? No. Um, the wheels... It sounds so ghostly down here. You can really smell the wood and the pipes. You can really smell this area. Don't know about you, I can really smell it. And the pipes down there. Oh, I see, this is where the rods go. It looks like a rod kind of thing. So. Did they go in a specific order? Yes, they do. I'll keep hold of that then for now. Notes that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case 
R3 would crack again. Storage and study rooms. This looks important. If I could hold this and not the others. I'm going to take it with me just in case. Oh. Less creepy sounds, please. Thank you. I had a feeling I had to do something with this stuff. Where's the third one? What was that? What was what? What was what? Is that the nightmare? I think that's the nightmare. Oh dear me, dear me. Looks like we can fill this up with coal. Don't know how much coal we need. I'm gonna put three in there, because that sounds like a more reasonable thing. Do anything. It's more work before it'll run. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Alright, so it looks like we have to continue with this another time. I've run out all of my time for this video. It looks like we have to find another wheel for this machine. We've got the coal burning, we can hear it. We can hear the nightmare above us going away, and we need to find the other two rods. So we'll do this another time. I've run out of time right now, anyway. So thanks everybody for watching, and. Make sure you like, subscribe, favourite, all that jazz. And make sure you click the video in the description for all the playlists I've done for different videos. And I'll leave a video at the end of this outro to show you what other videos I do. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Oh my god, oh my god, bro, I need to hide some of that.